Hi, Ethan. Hi, Luke. Hi, Ellie. Um, it's been quite some time since I did a video, and um, I thought that I would do one today. Um, I really wanted to see you guys for Thanksgiving, like, a lot. Um, not just because it's a holiday and, you know, it's... It's a time where you're supposed to be spending with people that you love and celebrating the things that you're thankful for with the people that you love. Um, not just because of that, but also because it's going to be about three weeks since I've seen you. And um, it's definitely not easy to go three weeks without seeing you guys. It's not easy to go even a day, but three weeks is... Um, horrible and miserable and it's just really hard to go without seeing you guys for such a long time. Um, I have to go that long without seeing you. I have to go that long without really getting a chance to even talk to you on the phone. Um, you and Ethan and Luke, you're both refusing to talk to me on the phone. Um, which is your choice, you know. You guys are old enough to make that decision. Um, but really, what hurts a lot right now is that your little sister is really getting put in the middle of it. She's being, you know, she's being ripped apart because even if she does want to talk to me on the phone, even if she wants to see me, even if she wants to you know, be a part of my life. Right now she's going to feel like she can't. She's going to feel like if she does that she's going to get scolded for it. You guys are putting her in a situation that's, that's just not healthy for her. Um, I realize how you feel, Ethan and Luke. You know, you guys have every right to feel that way, but what isn't right is to put your feelings onto your 10-year-old sister. Um, how she feels should be chose, should be up to her. It should be her choice. It shouldn't be that she hears you and your brother talking bad about me in front of her, you and your father talking bad about me in front of her. She's only 10 years old, and that's not right. And you guys are old enough to know better. It doesn't mean that I don't love you. It doesn't mean that I don't want to be a part of your life, because it does. But it really bothers me that your innocent 10-year-old sister is getting put in a situation that is not just uncomfortable for her, but is definitely psychologically damaging, too. And I really wish that you guys would think about this I wish that you would take everything that I'm saying into consideration and really think about the damage that is that is being caused to your sister emotionally. Um, you're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be hurt. You can hate me. You can decide that you don't want to see me. You can. But please, don't let that reflect onto your sister. Don't let how you feel about me and your anger reflect onto her. Um, same as my anger and your father's anger with me shouldn't be reflected onto you and your brother either. You know, Ethan and Luke, how your father feels about me and how I feel about him, it should never affect you kids, ever, no matter how old you are. And that should never, ever, ever reflect onto you guys. And I think a lot of divorced parents make that mistake of letting their hate and anger and contempt for the other parent reflect onto their children. And that is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make. Your children do not deserve that treatment. And it is a form of abuse. Your children should form whatever opinion they have on the parent 
on their own. And no matter how much you might hate or feel anger towards your, your ex-spouse, you should still encourage the children that are involved to love their parent, to talk to their parent, to see their parent. Unfortunately, that's not usually the case and that's not usually what happens. But um, Ethan, Luke, and Ellie, I am truly sorry for, for the pain that you guys are probably going through right now. Um, I'm really sorry that you guys probably feel like you're being put in the middle all the time, that you have to choose between your parents. None of that is fair to you, and I'm really sorry. And if there was any way that I could make this better or to change it for you, I would, and I'd give anything. I want you to know how much I love you, how much I miss you, and I'm here for you. And anytime you need something, no matter what it is, I'm only a phone call away. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do for you. I love you so very much. Um, mailing you guys some cards today. And um, I just want to tell you how much I love you and how much I miss you. And no matter what, I'm here for you. I love you guys.